Hard work pays off in terms of making money. This is Pentacles. Pentacles represents money. And so you're trying, both, all three of you are trying to make a living. This shows you're a master at what you do. I wanted to be sure you guys heard that part. Because you see all these Pentacles around here, and this is the master. You are already at master level. Are you aware that you are also, all of you, highly intuitive? Oh, really? Ooh, Do you know what that means? Have you read on the internet yeah. about indigo children? Yeah, that's a little yeah. more on the I, I keep hearing that term. And check indigo children. Because even though you've grown up, you were born in the 70s and 80s? I was born in the 70s. 80s? 80s, 89. 89. That's all right. You're right there. Many of those people born in your ages are terribly, not terribly, are really gifted, really psychic, and you have a special job in the world. You're advancing at such a fast rate because of your intuition. You're way ahead of the rest of us. And you think ahead of us. You are supposed to be the leaders of the world, and you're going to bring peace into our world. And I do a lot of work with indigos because I understand the pluses and minuses of your gifts and ability. It's very frustrating to have these wonderful gifts and then to have nobody believe you because of your youth. But you still have to pursue. And one of the things about indigos is they're always on the go. They can't stand in lines. They can't stand still. They've got to be doing and doing and doing. They think on their feet. That's you. And that's why you're going to be the winners. You're going to be the ones that help the world to have peace. It's not just the U.S., it's going to be the whole world. All right, this is the another Pentacles card. Look at all these Pentacles. You're going to be making money. <laughs> wow, and it's all the three of us. Look at, yeah, that's, yeah. It's all, it looks like it's coming out in threes. But here it shows that, yes, you're a little bit lonesome for family, you're away from home, uh, you're still young people, but you've got the whole world ahead of you, and you're making money, and you're doing things that are important to the world. More pentacles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you guys are something else. All right, the Page of Pentacles shows money coming your way. It's the beginning of money, real money. You also are all three very spiritual. And this is important. You need to talk to God every day. You need to ask Him for help. You need to ask for guidance because you are His children. And this is not the spiritual baloney that you're used to. This is the real thing. This comes from the angels, it comes from inspiration and intuition. You yourself feel the energy because you are so spiritual. You've got a wealthy woman around you. Is she uh, interested in investing in your work? This says let go of the past. The past is done, it's over, mistakes are finished, and things are better now. Don't worry about the past, just let it go. It's not important to the future. March to the beat of your own drum. You see the drummer's drumming his drum. The swords are off to the side. This is the Two of Swords card, but it's showing that the more important thing is to do your own thing. And especially you three, because you are the advanced forces of the indigos. You know what you're doing. You know what you're getting into. All right, this shows that you need to stay grounded and watch your money. Very important to watch your money. Because if you don't have it, nobody's going to hand money over to you for any reason. You're adults now. And you're too smart to bother with anybody else's money except by way of investment. An investment, fine, you'll take everybody's money. But by way of... Uh, you know, being hurting for money, there's no excuse because you're all gifted. You can get on your own two feet and get out there and make some money, one, two, three. Most of the world can't do that. 
All right. This shows that you are all organizers. This shows that you've banded up your obstacles. Wands are always obstacles. And that you've banded your obstacles so you can walk right through the middle of them. That shows what organizers you are. However, there are times when you feel hurt and anxious. That's normal. You're young people yet. But you feel hurt and anxious because you don't know what's next. And that's when you need to turn to God and ask for his help. Ask your angels for help and they will help you. You've been crossing the bridge of sorrow. You're almost to the other side. You see the land of milk and honey is over here. I always think of Moses crossing the bridge into the promised land when I see this. But it's the idea that you go through pain and suffering in life to get what you want. And so you are working toward that very positively, in a very positive way. Yeah, something like that. All right, the Ace of Swords. You're all Excalibur, pulling the stone out of the, out of the, pulling the sword out of the stone. You're all Sir Lancelot. Okay. You're doing the impossible. You're making things happen. And that you should be very proud of. So this is this is your final card showing that you're being very successful. You're going along with your gifts, your talents, and you are blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I would like to keep in touch with you so we can... I have a website too. So you want to give us the website? Yeah. yeah. Angel Connections by Lori.com.